entropy. All right, so there's really two definitions of entropy, and we'll use them a little bit of both, okay? There's one, a very technical definition, that if you look it up in like a physics book, this is what it's going to tell you, and then there's the more hand-wavy definition that we like to use a little bit more, okay? So the uh, technical definition And uh, believe, uh, oh, by the way, entropy is uh, abbreviated as S, uppercase S. Well, they, I mean, you got to think about it. They're sitting around the room deciding abbreviations. Like, oh, entropy, let's name it E. Like, Bill, we already used E for energy. Oh, that's true. And so, S. I don't know, apparently it was the end of the day. They couldn't come up with anything else. All right, so the technical definition is uh, the number of ways that a system can store energy. And the more practical sort of everyday definition is basically it's a measure of disorder. Okay, and so what that means is the more disordered something is, the higher the entropy. So we would say water in the liquid phase has higher entropy than water in the solid phase. Has higher S. So the value for S, and it is a number. We'll learn how to calculate it. Don't worry. I already see you reaching for your calculators. Uh, it's a unit of energy per, uh, it's temperature dependent, so we're going to get joules per Kelvin. Joules per Kelvin. It, Big S, uppercase S. Is that not big enough? Okay, no, right, that's a fair question. So it turns out that, as I said, um, nature tends to do it, and it tends to do it so much that it turned out it's a law. Okay, and it is the second law of therm thermodynamics. We saw the first law in chapter six, thermochemistry, law or energy is conserved. So the entry, ent energy of the universe is constant. That's the first law of uh, thermodynamics, energy of the universe is constant. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of the universe is increasing. Energy of the unit. The first law of thermodynamics is that the energy of the universe is constant. So another way you could say that is energy is conserved. But if the energy is constant, how can the temperature increase if the energy is constant? So it just it's the same amount of energy, but it's spread across more positions. So the a number of ways to store that energy goes up. So instead of having 100 joules in one ba basket. You have 10 joules in 10 baskets. Now it's more disordered. Before, all that energy was confined to one state. Now you just spread it across 10 different states, so it's more disordered. All right, so then uh, just quickly, 
we'll ask why does the second law of thermodynamics exist? Why does the entropy of the universe have to increase? And that's a law, you have to abide, you have to follow it 